Hey guys, uh, today we're going to go over our four point corner pin and applying that to our film through the tracker node. Uh, so I have this clip here and uh, we're, we have this sign that I don't, uh, you know, I don't like and I'm going to go ahead and replace it with this no skateboarding sign. You know, we're doing a skating video and uh, we're going to show this before we show our tricks. So let's do that. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, track each corner of this sign here and then apply it, that tracking information, to each corner of this skating sign here. So they will correspond and stick with each corner that they are assigned to. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So what we're going to start to do is we're going to go ahead and tab in a tracker node. All right. Put that guy in. All right. Now one thing I want to show you guys with this, uh, with our tracker, is that we've got our first tracker set up right here. Okay. Now when we're doing the corner pin, we have four corners. We have one and four trackers. We have one, two, three, four. So look at what happens and how they come about when I turn them on. So there's one, there's two, three, and four. So if you notice, they start in the bottom left-hand corner and go counterclockwise to the top left corner. Okay, so you can see if I do that again, go back, one, two, three, four. All right, so when we're tracking this corner pin, we want to keep these numbers uh, the same. So our bottom left-hand corner is going to be our tracker one, uh, bottom right, tracker two, top right three, top left four. All right, so let's go ahead and start our tracking. So we all know how we track from the last exercise. So let's find ourselves a pattern that we want, get it all lined up. Uh, let's get it back to our first frame so we can do that. So we don't have to track backwards. And let's go ahead and track forward. So we'll make sure to keep an eye on your actual tracker, make sure it doesn't slip and it stays in that point uh, where we put it to begin with. So let's run back through it. Yeah. Looks like it's sticking pretty good. And let's go ahead and do the rest of our tracking points. Okay, so track two, three, and four. Let's try and see if we can do all this at once. All right, let's set it up and start tracking. So it's going to take a little while longer, but it seems to be tracking okay. Now your best bet is to do one at a time uh, so that none of this tracking information, you know, it doesn't chug and they don't slip because it's trying to compute so much. But it looks like we got a pretty good track. All right. So go ahead and turn these guys off if you like. We can see the curve. So now that we have that done, I want to go ahead and talk about our corner pin. So what we're going to be doing here now, I'm going to uh, clear this out of there so we don't see those, uh, is, is tab in our corner pin. Okay. So what this is going to do is give us four points on each corner of our sign. Okay. Now you can see down here, if you can see it, it says 2-1, two, 2-2, one. Two, two, to 3 and to 4. Okay. And if you look up here in our properties, we have that to 1, x, and y, to 2, x, and y, 3, and so on. Okay. So now let's go ahead and open up our tracker. So if you notice, um, in starting in the bottom left corner is our first two and our first tracker. So we want those to correspond with each other. Our second to two, our third tracker to three, and four to four, since we track them in that order. So the way that we need to apply this information uh, is by so command selecting. So hold down the command key and select our animation menu over here. Click and drag it down tracker one to one. And that tracker or that corner will snap right to our tracker one. Okay, hold down command again. Do the same thing to two. You can see that. And let's do three and four. Oh. 
All right, so now we have our sign pinned right to these trackers, okay? So we have this tracking info, and now we need to go ahead and merge our corner pin over top of our video. So let's tab it merge. I just hit M for merge, and we go A over B. Let's hit one, and hit an O for our overlay, and let's turn that off. So now we can see we have ourselves our sign. Okay. So coming in here now, it's a bit bright, so let's go ahead and tab in a grade now to get a little more integration. You know, we want this to be real. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take my gain. Let's pull that down a little bit. And take my gamma. Bring that guy down. So now we're looking at a no skating sign. All right. So make sure, guys, that when you're doing this, that your corners uh, track very well and they track in the spot that you want. Because if you notice on mine, uh, I didn't track this in the top left corner quite all the way to the edge. So uh, you can see this little gap here and it's not quite even. So make sure when you're doing this uh, to have good tracking points and make sure that you, you pick some good trackers for this. All right, guys. Um, now, once again, I went ahead and did this no skateboarding sign. Uh, feel free to put whatever you'd like, uh, but I have included this for you to do the exercise. So, have fun.